before starting the video just wanna tell that dragon's dogma 2 offline activation is available on channel along with all the other games previously i mentioned hey everyone welcome back on the channel welcome back to another episode 3 video we are back with dragon's dogma 2 so this one was a little bit tricky to make it work because uh, it was having some crashing issues with uh, various options enabled and softwares so yeah i'll show you everything uh, this is gonna be a little bit different than usual videos so do not skip the video uh, there are some important crucial steps along the way which i will show you and talk you through so as you can see right now i have not activated the mod and i'm playing on 1080p uh, with uh, every other settings on like uh, medium and high uh, and some set on maybe low uh, this game is very poorly optimized so that's why i've set some options on low and uh, make sure that uh, all of your upscalers are off like fsr3 dlss whichever you are using turn it off so you need to turn off the uh, anti-aliasing slash uh, upscaler in order to make the mod work so yeah uh, do turn this off also make sure that rendering mode is set on uh, intel list and after that uh, we're just gonna maybe run around a few seconds to test the native fps without the mode so it's currently staying around 50 to 55 60 yeah it's currently staying around 50 to 60 without the mod uh, my main character is a mixture of lion and human uh, you know you can select this kind of character in this game so yeah we'll be beginning the mod right now so stick with the video do not try to skip uh, there are some important steps which i will show you okay now i don't wanna right now combat uh, i just wanna install the mod okay so we'll be needing two zip files dd2 and uniscalar preview 4 why preview 4 not 5 6 or 7 this is the one uh, which is compatible with this uh, game uh, the newer version seems to crash or uh, give various uh, issues so that's why i'm using preview 4 it's safe but you can do try preview 5 6 7 uh, at your own risk uh, if you want to be experimental and everything so first first thing first uh, we're gonna extract the dd2 to the desktop follow along the steps it's a little bit different than uh, usual steps so do not skip then we're gonna open the folder and copy only this di input 3.dll and then we're gonna go to the installation directory of uh, dragons dogma 2 so for me which is here uh, now we're gonna paste this single dll file here and we're just gonna run the game from here or steam whichever you like so first just run this game after pasting that di input dll uh, do not play just run the game i will show you why i'm talking about this do not skip the video also <coughs> so yeah when you run the game you can see some kind of ui will appear on your uh, what do you say games uh, hood uh, so you just need to make sure that this ui was working after pasting the file so yeah do not play the game just uh, make sure that ui is appearing this ui is appearing uh this ui is appearing and after that uh, we're just gonna quit the game now after quitting uh, make sure that you need to turn off the msi afterburner uh, while booting the game you can uh, make it uh, run after uh, we apply the mod and uh, get inside the game but while booting make sure that msi afterburner is closed uh, also with river tuner so now we're gonna just extract the uniscular preview uh, 4 uh, to the desktop we're gonna copy the uniscular uh, go to the inside folder of uniscular mod copy everything inside and then we're gonna paste it here and now uh, you need to delete the shader cache of the file in order to make the game crashing uh, prevent from crashing so shader file is located almost uh, like right here uh, here shader dot cache dot two so what you need to do is select the file and just delete it uh, what will happen the game will rebuild shader it will take a few minutes uh, depending on your ssd or hdd but it will make your game prevent from crashing 
so i think we have done everything now we're just gonna get into the game and see how is it working or not uh okay we are uh, back in the game now uh, if you want to use this uh, tool you can use it there are some different options like uh, camera vr etc so i don't want to tweak this right now i just want to close the uh, ui so i'm just going to close it and you can't see any fps or anything just for, because i have not activated the msi afterburner so let me just turn it on uh, wait a few seconds it will get activated okay the msi afterburner has come online so the fps is still around uh, almost the 50 and 60 marks so now we're going to go to the uh, system option graphics and then we're gonna activate the fsr3 do not use dlss if you even if you are on rtx card just use fsr3 so the quality is up uh, the preset is up to you quality balance whichever you like i'm just gonna use the quality so quality set changes okay now back to the game and there we go uh the ps has boosted from 50 to 90 94 and maybe it will reach 100 also sometimes uh, so yeah, this is fully working. Uh, there is a very slight hood flicker uh, as you can see in this subtitle like sheet to draw your weapon with X uh, But the game is totally playable like you can see almost uh, all the UIs the maps the hood bars and everything uh, I know the flicker is a little bit annoying, but uh, currently there is no fix for uh, The hood flicker right now. So yeah, you will have to live with that, but at least it's working. So yeah, that's a good thing uh, so yeah, this will be it guys. Uh, if this video helps you, uh, you can subscribe to the channel and uh, If you face any kind of issue, you can comment down below. Now I'm just gonna run the game for maybe uh, One to two minutes to show you guys how the mods working and everything So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one uh, until then uh, cheers and happy gaming